In this video, we're going to be going over 10 Pokemon that have been announced that will be joining us in Scarlet and Violet in the new DLC coming soon in September. We're going to start this video off with the legendary trio. We're going off of Pokemon that we've known about for the longest amount of time and ending the video with one I just found out about today at the time of recording. So starting off with this legendary trio, we got Monkey Dory, Okie Dogie, and Fezzan Pity. I'm going to really struggle with names in this video, so please forgive me for that. Comment down below which of the legendary trio you're most excited about. Personally, I'm kind of leaning towards Okie Dogie. Next up, we got Ogre Pond. I cannot read this without thinking of Shrek because Ogre. Uh, and then next up, is going to be Terra Pegos, which we've got two forms for this one. Uh, this is the normal form here, pretty cute. And then the Terrastal form. I'm sure you guys have seen these. I believe these were actually originally released when they announced the new anime. Could be wrong though. But those are going to be the poster children of the two different releases of the DLC. Personally, I'm really excited for that Terrastal form Terra Pegos, as I'm sure a lot of people are. We don't know how it's going to work yet, but I'm kind of just hoping that you can change the Terrastal type, but that's just a hope at this point. Next up is going to be my boy Diplin. I did not particularly enjoy getting Applin in Scarlet and Violet. Uh, it was a pain for me, but I'm sure it was easy for everybody else. But love to see this new iteration. Now, I'm do not love to see this new iteration, Archiludon. I kind of would have preferred that they would have just made this like a regional variant or whatever that stupid term is for the fake regional variant they're using nowadays. Convergent species. But instead, this is going to be a Drulodon evolution. So I would have rather seen them do, you know, a regional variant because then they basically could have had infinite amount of structures of, you know, each generation could have had a different structure, but instead we are capping this out at a third evolution. Next up is going to be Raging Bull. This one kind of looks a little silly, but it's not too bad, but not the favorite for most people. Iron Crown is actually pretty cool. I do like this one. It's a very cool future variant Pokemon. And to end the video, we're going to have Poltergeist. This is going to be a variation on the Sinisty and Poltegeist evolution line. I just made a short on this today, and it seems like a lot of people are pretty excited about this. Please do comment down below which Pokemon you are most excited for and don't forget if you do enjoy the content please do consider subscribing as i am giving away five elite trainer boxes at 5k subs thank you so much for watching don't be dull stay sharp